Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Moonring, a free RPG inspired by traditional roguelikes that I'm very excited to be checking out here today. It's apparently from one of the co-creators of Fable, and it looks really good, but hey, for the price of free, how wrong can you really go? In we are going to go to see what the game is all about. Here we are. You can move by pressing the cursors or WASD keys or by holding left mouse, pointing where you want to go. You can also wait by pressing space. Normal traditional roguelike stuff there. You can interact with signs, doors, and other objects by moving into them, colloquially known as bumping. Bump. I love the color palette on this UI. Okay. Hello there, mister. You come here. You're targeting a friendly character. The enter key does different things depending on the situation. The icon highlighted on the left of the UI shows that pressing enter will talk to the target. In many cases, clicking the target is the same as pressing enter. You can speak to people by typing words or short phrases. Pressing enter will say whatever word is shown in the input box. Certain words and phrases are hidden. So experiment. Still no dreams, child? Dreams? I swear you just sleep too deeply to recall them. I'm sure you'll dream one of these days. Don't try and force it. Wait. You will finally know which god has chosen you. Topics discuss dreams and dream. What? Uh, god. Which of the five will it be, I wonder? Five? You know them. Our Lady, the Sanguine Moon, Death's Harlequin, the Lords of Dust, the Great Forest Wolf, the Blind Angels. The five, although, of course, we only follow one. Angels. The Blind Angels offer so much wisdom. I wish you could see the world as I do, child. Life is so vibrant. Okay. I can see it flickering in every living thing. It's so beautiful. Follow one? The angels, of course, they are just, just and wise beyond all other gods. Uh, finally? You can see the words popping up. If you're like, how the hell is he pulling these words? Where, where is he pulling these from? There's little, like, question marks above my head that say these, some of these words. You are a little older than most dreamless. I wonder what your father would have made of it. Father? Poor Karim. Kind soul through and through. We must keep the farm neutral. It was important to both of us. Was? I'm sure you missed them too. I'll be always be wary of Amber. Oh my god, we're getting so deep in this. I wasn't expected to be <laughs> I'm curious too though. The mist will drive you mad, and the beast it hides. Let us not speak of such terrible things. I'm doing it. Speaking I'm speaking of them. Few survive seeing them, poor Karim. Oh my lord. Uh Oh. All right. Did we already um apparently we didn't do. I'll, I'll do this. I'd rather not speak of them further. It is unseemly. Let others follow who they must. Okay. Bye-bye. The faint dotted square around you is your detection radius. Enemies within the area will be alerted to your presence. It will shrink when you are quiet and is altered by other factors such as movement, cover equipment, and noisy actions. So what do we got? Quiet is on cue. Ooh. Ooh. Please let me... S <laughs> what god do you follow? Speak to me of the others! Alright, uh... I don't want to attack the chicken. I am no chicken chaser. Chicken kicker. This amber bane lamp is arconic property. Please treat it with appropriate care. Okay. Q key or quick... I mean, I'm way ahead of you. You'll do bonus damage if you hit an enemy who is sleeping or unaware of you. Sneaking will dim your lamp, reducing your sight range. Gotcha. And then the actions will take two times longer. Understood. While quiet, you can reduce your detection radius further by standing near walls or cover. Waiting quietly will also decrease it even more. You can throw or fire objects with R or by clicking on the ranged icon. You'll do increased damage if you hit enemies that are unaware of sleeping. Note at the start of the game, you are a bad shot. Wait, what? I thought that my, my circle was one smaller. Oh, well. You are engaged in close quarters combat. Being hit will initially reduce your poise. 
shown, but I guess this is not a wall or a crate. I guess that's the thing, is this does not... This doesn't count as something that'll reduce my radius. And I guess that's a good way of exp uh, explaining that through, com or, you know, like actual gameplay here. Being hit will initially reduce your poise, shown by the small shield icon. When engaged, poise will not regenerate, and the shield will display a flashing X. Ensure you enter close quarters battles with plenty of poise. I mean, I could just blast you. Because if we're never going to... I mean, it's fine. Is there flashing lights um, setting? By the way, I did already turn off the CRT effect because, I mean, if you like it, great. Unfortunately, uh, the YouTube bitrate would rip that in half, uh, and you guys would see nothing. <laughs> so I'm not going to be doing that. The graveyard key is in the locked chest behind the farmhouse's false wall. Beyond the graves is a cave. Oh, I hit a carved stone within it. Find the stone, find others who recognize its sign, and may the gods and my beloved be forever blind. Sign your loving father, Karam. Locked chest behind the farmhouse is false wall. Beyond the graves is the cave. Am I going to remember? Like, are we going to be able to check this? Okay, you scribble in your notebook. Thank God. I was going to say, do I have to remember that? You are affected by a status change. Flashing icons in the status area show you what the effect is. The effect will wear off over time and vanish when the bar behind the icon reaches the bottom. I am vulnerable. I guess it's because I stepped on the, um, yeah, the spider web. You can no longer dodge any attacks regardless of your finesse. Oh, so finesse is just a dodge. It's not like armor. Okay. Is this our farmhouse? Is that what it is? Yarrow Farm. Here be thine hearth, home and heart. Hello, have you seen a false wall? Okay, you can bump into many things. You find a book titled Ancient Sibarun 6. One word catches your eye. Era, which means fortress. Okay. I'm just curious. The shelf contains books on mushroom farming and animal husbandry, as well as a log of the farm's finances. <laughs> I understand. Sometimes even familiar things such as walls may hide some secrets. Look out for anomalies and bump into anything that looks different. Huh? The key unlocks the chest and crumbles to dust. The key unlocks the chest. Okay, so we got the graveyard key. How do I check my notebook? Navigating notes, Moonring will automatically record all quest and tutorial notes on the screen. You can change the sorting type with the left or right, use up or down to scroll through the notes, and enter to cycle through these pages of particularly long notes. Wonderful. I wanted to just get that out of the way. Okay. Beyond the graves is a cave. Okay, so it doesn't say where those are. This is neat. Get out of my way! So the graveyard, you got a a whole bunch of mushrooms. Should we be sneaking? I feel like we don't need to. I feel like I shouldn't be doing this. I'm just curious if there's something hidden in here. Also, this is very satisfying. I mean, I don't know. Maybe some ancient evils are getting up to some stuff as, uh, as I do this, but that's okay because I also just cleared out all the grass. Okay, so that, uh, opening the escape menu, right-click to open the escape menu or press escape. You can use it to look at your stats, see a map of the overworld areas you've explored, or even quit the game. What? Whoa, why would I do that? Can I just press M from here, though? <laughs> the flashing effect there is wild. Alright, where is the graveyard? It could just be down to the south, but I just kind of want to fully explore this little area. It doesn't take too- Ooh, what's this? What do we got here? You picked up something. A large potion of healing. You can open up the inventory at any time by pressing I or... Yep. Gotcha. Holy moly. I am wet. You are becoming affected by status change. Non... I mean... Okay. Avoid further exposure to make the bar fall. I mean, hey, I guess I shall move out of the way of that. 
North is the cemetery. Gotcha. Mr. Kibbles, you hated everyone. We loved you regardless. Grand Hawkthorn, at, less, at rest at last. My beloved Karam, Amber took you from the world, but not from my heart. All right. In we shall go. There was a place to explore down to the south, but... You found the entrance to the dungeon. If you die in a dungeon, time will rewind to the point you entered, and a new dungeon will be created. Ah, so there is some roguelike actual, like... I thought it was, when it said uh, traditional roguelike inspired, it was just saying, like, you know, like, all of the things that you've come to expect from a game like Rogue, uh, like, you know, a, a traditional game like Rogue. Uh, to entail, but no, it seems like there's actually going to be some randomized uh, dungeons in there as well. So do I want to head in there yet, or should I... I feel like I should get some full info about what the hell's down here first. This is a view of Caldera's overworld. You can zoom to any location by pressing enter or left-clicking yourself. Time flows ten times faster here, so watch out for your food supplies. I think that we can... Let's just do... Yeah, okay. Now that I know what that is, let's just move on up. If we, you know, if dying in the dungeon just pushes us right back up, then so be it. NBD. Dungeons in the map. You've entered a dungeon here. The map will be vital to keeping track of where you've been. Press M or the escape menu to see it. So yeah, it's a, it's a different type of map. Well, hello. Do you have a ranged attack? You're not hitting me. Now you've hit me. My lord, your poise is at zero. Further damage will reduce your health and can only be replenished via health potions or sleeping. Once at zero, you will die. Okay. I was kind of banking on that working. So how do we recover our poise? Okay, so just standing still for a little bit. What do you want to do with the pot? Refill your lamp or break the pot? I shall sneak by walls. We're slow in here. So what does slow do for us? I'm bleeding? If you say so. Oh, don't know why I did that. Huh, huh. Sneaky, sneaky. Very slow. Just want to be kind of closer to the walls when we explore here. Uh oh. So I literally just bumped into the walls there. And it made a lot more noise. The longer you wait, the more noise you make. Interesting. I'm. God, why does this actually feel tense? Hello? Where's my lamp at? That's at 0% there. Oh, okay. So I'm pretty sure in my inventory I saw we have lamp oil. Unbound. We can apply it. Eh. I feel like I, I guess we can just move. <laughs> I'm vulnerable. So if you sneak into uh, one of those, it doesn't do anything. It's good to know. All right. Oh, but there's something here that we didn't even... Stereo root. Alright, so there's a little bit we haven't explored up here. But is Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. So when we're sneaking, we're not, like, using the lamp anyways, it looks like. There's something there. A bat. Does it know where I am? It does not. So, when I'm using a ranged attack, what exactly am I using? Ah, I have six- I have six rocks left. I feel like- yeah. I want to get a better- The grass, I think, is causing some problems here. Come on, one of you get in line of sight. Ah, it seems like if I- if they're outside of that circle, it's gonna be a bit more of a problem. I don't know if that guy can even leave. He came out of nowhere, man. Yeah, he can't even leave the uh, water, it looks like. But he has, like, a nice big range, so he can just kind of 
do his thing anyways. Yeah, I'm a, I am a terrible shot, it said. Resist stun. Is it afraid of the light? It looks like it's afraid of the light. Interesting. Come here. Come on, one of these times you gotta move up. You don't, you, one of these times you do not have to move up. My lord. This man is very frustrating to fight. <laughs> Like, I, do I really want to waste all of my rocks just to bully this poor man? Oh, we can pick them back up. The answer is yes, I do. He might have something cool. How does that miss, dude? You <laughs> okay. The answer is we get nothing, but maybe we got some experience or something. Bunch of guineas. Skitter. We got a spider or something? A beetle? Come on now. Our shot, our aim is so bad though. Oh, let's go. Nine guineas. We have a bolt. Can we use that without a, you know, uh, an actual weapon that can use it? I feel like the answer would be no. Wait, what the heck? What, what just happened there? Short, sturdy missile that can be used as crossbow ammunition. So yeah, I'm assuming that the answer is uh, no to that. I think I'm going to need an actual crossbow for it to be anything. Very slow and vulnerable. I'm going to go ahead and just wait a smidge. Get sneaky sneaky. What the? Oh, we got a potion. No ammunition. I mean, surely I can't sneak up on him. Like, I can't attack diagonally. That would... Oh, wow. I just was... Okay, I, I am allowed to just sneak up into him. I guess when they're sleeping, even if they're in your radius, it's not necessarily a guarantee. A door that leads here. <laughs> Gears turn beneath your feet as something on the level unlocks. I'm, I'm assuming it's the door. <laughs> it's right in front of it, <laughs> but it's like you, you you grab a doorknob, you twist a little bit, and it's like you hear rattling as suddenly a contraption is now open. It's like, well, I mean, okay. If this l does anything other than op you know unlocking that door, I guess I will be confused. Okay, we got another one of those slime men. Which I don't really want to deal with, if I'm going to be real. Felt like a waste of, uh, ingredients. Oh. Okay, he's very dodgy. And I don't think I have no ammunition for this, so... I don't even know if it's going to be worth it. Is he gonna let me? I guess that's the thing, is he takes two to move. Gotcha. Great. Beautiful. He moves every other. Didn't even notice. Hmm. Okay. We're level one. Let's check our this for a second. Is there a way to see what it'll take for us to- This is so many different stats. What on earth? Rot, stun, blindness, flame, range. Those are all, I mean, I think probably just going to be resistances. The thing is, you don't really need to be overwhelmed by that because you don't really need to know about that like 90% of the time. Sneaky, sneaky. Skitter, skitter. Is he moving? What's my food like? 89... I have apples, so like... Okay. Alright, he saw me. I got enough poise to like... To blast some fools anyways. I just... The thing is... It's not that I don't want to get in combat. The thing is that I want crits. Crits are fun. 
it's fun to see kaboom happen on an enemy, you know? Okay. What the hell? I can, once again, I kind of assume it's probably going to be opening the door that's immediately in front of me. What is that? Rocks? More rocks? More rocks. That bat is going crazy. I've started a fire. Yeah, I guess, what, what was I thinking on that one? I might... Does he still know that I'm here? He does. I think that the only time they won't know... Okay, what have I done? That is spreading so far. Yeah, we got plenty of poise to just fight those guys. It's really not that big of a deal. We could probably just go in and... Go in guns a-blazing and come out okay. Seems like a trap. So I'm willing to go on the thing that I know is annoying, but not bad. Like, I'm not gonna get... Okay. <laughs> Alright. Copper key. Oblong copper key. I do wonder what those are. The little diamonds on the ground there. Okay. Don't blast another one. Honestly, did it help though? I think it, it might have helped a little bit. I was kind of hoping it'd spread. Hello, beetle. Down, down. Come here. I give up. <laughs> right now, well, it doesn't matter. I'll go ahead and just blast them. I'm very slow. I wonder what that equates to. Like, how many turns do I technically lose for that? That didn't count as a sneak attack. Bitterleaf brew. Water. Okay. Could probably end up using that to put out fire or something, I would assume. Yeah, see, what what's up with that? Why, when I move down, does it reveal more of my inventory? I think that's just a bug. I think it is my guess. Uh, Heal. Yeah. Understandable. Bitterleaf brew. Let's see... Focusing the drinker's mind on reality. None drink it for the flavor, but many amber addled traveler have been thankful for its effects. Okay. So, I'm assuming... We can actually check, um... Good character. That's probably something to do with one of these. Madness, perhaps? Ups mad madness, maybe? Oh. Just want to make sure we don't get any, like, as long as we don't get any combat, uh, chain combat, we will be fine. Because we have baked in regeneration. This looks, that wall looks wrong. Tried to bump it. Hello, slime. Is there a world in which you just come to me? Scraps of ancient metal. Oop. What have we done? Come here. Yeah, well. Don't have anything to throw. Oh, God. Okay, things got bad all of a sudden. That hurts. <laughs> I was not expecting the slime to then burst into maggots. Usually it's like slime splits into two slimes. They got me with a, a gotcha. I was like, I expected, I expected more. I did not expect that many more. So can you not sneakily refill your pot? I mean, I do think that I got everything. I think that was the, the big thing of notes. The question is if I should then like heal. Replenishes energy. Hmm. Does this heal at all, in addition? Food 20 and a one times endurance boost. 
Okay. So I, don't, I, I was hoping it would also heal a little bit of health in addition so we could like be moving two meters at the same time. Entirely understandable. <sighs> oh boy. This is, yeah. Ho, oh, boy. You have an empty flask. It allows you to craft potions from blood files and any herbs you may find. Those with greater perception are able to use fewer blood files when crafting their potions. I'm in so much danger, though. Like, it's not even funny. I was hoping that using the potion would not count as a turn, but it makes sense. Let's see. Healing technology. Invaluable tool. Those who follow the Lords of the Dust with their strange version of witchcraft and its curative potions. So we could try and get a little bit of a smack in here. You're doing about 60? Yeah. Wait, it heals him too? Wait, wait, wait. Did I heal everything around me? Is that what just happened? Oh, God. This turned... I would have never assumed. So I think we may be... in a very bad space. We do have throwing daggers. must earn and spend devotion to improve your attributes. You tried wielding something without the required attributes. To improve these, you need to find devotional tiers. Perform a devotional task for your god. Every time your devotion increases, you gain five points to that god's chosen attribute. Strength, finesse, intellect, perception, and endurance. Yeah, this uh, just went very poorly, and I'm not entirely sure that... Seems like every once in a while, he can um, double move. course but I guess we kind of just want to keep running I, as silly as it is until one of these goes a bit better for us is he not coming to me there we go huh. terrifying I do hope that this is um a thing I can recharge? <laughs> you adjusted your pack on your shoulders. That man was spooky. But yeah, apparently, I didn't know that we could, like, refill poise. Well, because I guess in my head, we were still in combat. I would have classified that as still being in combat. But I guess I'm happy to hear it's not technically still being in combat. Okay. Very slow. Sure. Just get it out of the way. Blop, blop. Hmm. So this one is active. There. What do I get? Sarah Leaf Oil. Black-eyed stone. The stone looks like the one your father spoke of in his note. Perhaps Solera will know something about it. Alright. That sounds to me like, uh, you solved the dungeon, go home. Yeah, come here. Come here. Did you give up? The bug I'm not really worried about. We can just go ahead and blast him. We're at full poise. Ooh. A little bit of money. Sure. Arrows, no more bolts. All right. With that, I think we're about done. Okay, there's technically like a little bit of something, something all the way in the bottom left, but it's like, should I even bother because of like the food of it? The food cost seems like a thing to be concerned about. Food. 
fill an empty bottle with oil. That's, I mean, sure. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. I'm pretty sure there's not going to be anything here. But now we know for a fact. Good. Done. Didn't take that long. Just doing this so we're not using our lamp oil. I bet you there's a way we can turn it off. But I just... Yeah, figured. You know what? Okay, before we go... Yeah, I kind of wanted to know. So apparently, if you are using your weight action, and you bump into that, you have to attack it. How do I... Can I turn the lantern off? Because I... Yeah, it's like I don't really want to waste it right now. But I also don't want to have to move twice as slow. L for lantern? Anything? I'm sure there was a way. Exchange. Alright, well, let's pop back here. Where did you get that stone? Your father must have left it for you. There's an engraving. Keeper of the serpent's eye. What, are, what, could, that, what could that mean? Uh. Oh my god. Perhaps the priests of the moon upon Thos know what it means. They are wiser than I. Moon upon Thos? The capital is our best customer. I'm grateful they're so close. Certainly cuts down on trader fees. Wait, what? Is that really what you're... Huh. I guess... Practically see the lights over there glimmering in the southwest. See? You now know the whereabouts of the moon be up upon Thos. Press M to... Okay, do that when you're ready. Sure. Don't misunderstand. I'm grateful they lug our produce to town. I just wish they were less expensive. Apparently, I haven't talked about this. The five are wise, though I don't think they can, that can be said of the Archon. Not anymore. The Archon means well, but they're far too old. I'm glad they're looking for another viable candidate. Heh, <laughs> perhaps you should petition. You are a dreamless, after all. You never know. You could be the next Archon, Keeper of Balance. The yeah, Archon means well, but they're too old. Yeah, okay. Uh, viable? Well, technically, the Archons are dreamless. Supposedly, allows them neutrality. But can you trust anyone godless? Oh, I'm sorry. I did not mean to suggest <sighs> you'll have a dream, and then I won't have to worry, so. Most dream by their 20th year, apart from the Archon, of course. All right. Sent to the southwest. I guess it doesn't really... Doesn't really matter. We just pop out here and then we go down. I do want to get one of these little uh, special god points, though. So we move everything. Uh, the food t ticks down much s slower, faster. Ooh, to leave a zoomed in map, you can simply walk off the edge, or if there are no enemies around, you can press enter and left click yourself. Oh, I was trying to do a quiet action, but. Good deal. Might as well blast him. You there. Come here. Screw it. Fight me. Fight me, Bat. I like that. I like that a lot. Southwest we go. Wet status. Being wet is not inherently dangerous, but it makes it harder for you to catch fire. Oh. Oh. <laughs> However, much easier to gain rotting status, and it will not wear off while you are wet. I don't know what that's about, but hey. Hoof prints in the overworld map show the position of prey whose pelt or meat is valuable. Prey here. You're standing in the same location as huntable prey. If you enter this area, you can kill the animal for meat or fur. Oh, it's you. Oh boy. 
can he heal? The thing is, like, what's stopping me from doing this? I can't heal anymore. Cut. Got it. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe there's just a limit. We weren't hitting it in the cave, though. Hello. Safety. Hurting allies with friendly fire. While well, friendly fire is on, you will you will hurt those who regard you as friendly merely by bumping into them. Be very careful when moving around in this mode unless you wish to be fined, banned, or even killed. Nope, I was just curious. Hello. I wanted to... I kind of wanted to talk to you, but... Yeah, there's not, there's not much um, sneaky... Whoa. Sneakiness I get to do here. Yeah, that's fine. Get wrecked, punk. Surely we're going in the right direction. Fight me, bat. I don't know if we are getting experience or not, you know? Like, should we be avoiding combat? It's not like it's... These guys are not particularly difficult. We're getting ingredients and things, so I guess, like, there is a reward innately. A flower in the overworld map shows the position of a useful plant. If you enter those areas, you may find an herb to pick up and use for potion crafting. Uh. Okay. It's a badger. I ain't gonna kill him. He's just vibing. West Moon Upon Thaw, Southeast Herodus, North Yarrow. Whoa! Color change. Hello there! Towns are considered safe havens, so use the weapon use of weapons is prohibited. If you really want to fight, you can press F to turn on friendly fire. I don't. Hello, stranger. I'm Jenerva. Welcome to the Moon Upon Thos. Can you auto-complete? You can auto-complete with tap. Good. I was wondering. Yes, this is the city of balance. Balance is important, yes. Oops. Balance is everything. Without balance, there is chaos. Can I, like... That's me! Are you here for the markets or the street of the gods? It's a little way to the east. Watch out, though. The priests will talk your ear off. Okay. I like you. Uh... Markets. Two steps to the north. The city has the best of everything. That's the state Caldera was in before the five moons appeared. I have no desire to return to that. Darkness, madness, despair. No, thank you. You know, we have one moon per god. Everybody knows that. Oh, you're dreamless. Now I understand. We get a lot of you through here. You come to petition, of course. The old Archon is getting on a bit. Good for you. You should talk to the priest about that. They are in the streets of the gods to the east. Watch out. The priest will talk you up. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's go to the market first. Weapon? Fun slinger? The weapon smith asks, what may I do for you? Arrow, bolts, I mean, okay. Let me see if I... I'm surely got some stuff I could sell. Let's see. Cloying taste. Restore balance to those who are stunned in battle. I'm willing to sell it. I'm willing to sell it and regret it later. Highly prized by most of Caldaren society. It sounds like it's sounds like it's just for selling. May not be the case. Where's my money? There's the shopkeeper's funds. Mine's got to be around here somewhere. There it is. 844. Is that enough for the? Uh, it's enough for crop, but crossbow, <laughs> crossbow. Bright pin. Hmm. Inexpensive light and thus commonly found in the grands of the buccaneers. I just wanted to get a crossbow. I think that sounded like a good call. Cannot equip. You must earn and spend devotion. Oh no! We can't. <laughs> so how do you need strength required plus five? Gotcha. 
Finesse recovered, plus five. Good God. Moon upon Thaw's Prosperity. Great B, you have how much do you want to offer to the Law of Balance? None right now, thank you. Putting money into donation coffer improves the town's economy, leading to higher quality goods being sold, and the town's opinion of you also improving. How's this game free, man? This is so cool. I don't really have any money for this. I am curious what a star thing is going to be all about. Icons. Gain devotion or clear curses. Gotcha. Shifts the moon phase as well. Okay. Key to improving Caldera understanding. So are these how I would go about getting my stat ups? Is that, that can't be the only way. I don't see anywhere that we have like a normal kind of like experience bar or anything like that. From what I gather. So I don't think that there's like your traditional form of grinding. These seem to be the different gods. Right, one, two, three, four, five. Welcome, child. Come to into the clean air and parley. Parley. The city would have us all choke on smoke and stale air. We belong outside like our kin creatures. The wolves, of course, their honest loyal and honor not, but that which is strong. Strong? <laughs> If you're not strong, you're a burden. It's no fit way to live. The great forest wolf would have us remember this. The ruler of all forests in Caldera and a harsh mistress. However, they ask nothing of us that strength cannot overcome. Oops. Strength. One of the wolf's boons, a gift to those who devote their lives to them. The question of the wolf requires that we never back down from a fight. Never. To flee an enemy is to beg the blade for a blade between the shoulder blades. You should speak to the great forest wolf, do you not? I mean... Okay. How do I join? Oh, I see down here it said this. My, my microphone is covering this up. That makes sense. Okay. Uh... How do I have nothing left to help? <laughs> Talk to the bartender, they normally know a lot. Okay. I mean I'll say that I'm I'm into that already. Like, say less. Dear, I'm afraid you must have the wrong place. You do not seem entertaining. You're probably better off somewhere else. Can you juggle, dance, sing, look fabulous? Sorry, fa oh I can't do it in caps. Perhaps you have wit? My face is painted for the gods, and I can sing all twelve verses of the Almora. But then I doubt you've even heard of it. Actually, it's quite a tedious poem. I should probably kill the author at some point. For aesthetic reasons, of course. All life in one little word, eh? But then, nothing really means anything more than the attention we give it. The wit of we harlequins is legendary, or at least amusing. Our tongues are barbed, and as are our blades... Indeed, we do not suffer the crassness of brutal combat. Our way is that of finesse, because nothing is done without flair. As we say, do what you will, but do it with taste, and with a little verve, and a shot of brandy. Why, thank you. Oh, how disappointing. I was hoping it was an offer. Where was I? Oh, yes. Uh, proselytizing. Blah, 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 drinking, blah, 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 swift blades, blah, 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 death, blah, 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 dark, life is a dark jest. I think that covers it. Okay. I uh, I am, I'll say, I have talked to two people, and I want to join two factions. Uh, this is an issue. I I now am feeling torn. I know that it's also just, like, it's the stats, but you probably don't mono stat, do you? Okay. Where to? At this point, Let's, we can check, I guess, our our notes. Serpent's eye, moon upon thus. Um, let's see, high sound quality items. Yeah, yeah, gods. You know that stuff. I don't know. 
Well, I think that that is probably where we're going to call it here for today, though, actually. But I'll say I'm very, very interested in this. I, like, I really, really like it. It takes a decent amount for me to be, like, invested in a kind of, like, bigger, you know, like a open worldy RPG kind of thing with kind of you know, actual in-depth little lore, things like that. I think the writing in this is good. The world is interesting. The visuals are fun while still being kind of like nice and simplistic and traditional roguelike throwback. Um, I find it engaging. I think that, yeah, like a lot of the juice is very much there to make it feel modern. And best of all, this son of a gun is free. And it's just 100% completely free on Steam with the link at the top of the description. So, hey, I highly recommend you go check it out and see what else there is to explore because I feel like I barely scratched the surface and it's... That's a really cool feeling. Usually I feel like I download a little free game off Steam and I'm like, yeah, that was a very fun use of an hour. And then this is like, I don't know. I don't know how much you could get out of this. You could probably get quite a bit for the price of nothing. But alas, alas... That is that, and that's going to do it here for today. My name is Retromation, cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.